Seven Stages Theater. Thank you so much for coming out on Saturday afternoon to support this amazing ensemble that is anxiously awaiting you behind the wings. Give them a round of applause. Get the energy going. Yeah. Uh, I'm Betsy Renee. I'm the education director here. I'm Heidi Howard. I am the artistic director here at Seven Stages. On behalf of our board, our staff, all the artists that we have created with, past, present, and the future, on alien planets, and whatever we imagine, we welcome you to the 21st Youth Creates production. Give it up again. offer some housekeeping. You'll be with us for just about an hour. Uh, I ask that you turn off anything that makes noise. If you need to leave in case of an emergency, there's lots of different exits, including following the aliens off stage, backstage, and the bombs in which you entered. Uh, if you need to leave in the middle of the performance, not in case of an emergency, just to you know take a bio break or a breath, um, we ask as you are able to use the the doors behind you up our brand new beautiful stairs and audience. <laughs> unknown here on stage. Be safe. Entrances are in all directions. Uh, I need to take a moment and honor the original lands of the Muscogee Creek people that we reside on as our theater has existed for over 43 years on this stolen land. And while we work internationally, we do have some international guests here in the audience and on stage. Uh, nationally and locally, it is um, essential for us to keep this in mind. And so, all of our tickets do include a land fee use that goes directly into our indigenous communities and helps us continue to figure out what reparations are going to We are always looking at new ways and continuing to do this, so open for uh, your suggestions. We need to give a shout out to all of our funders yeah. who we couldn't be here without, including mm -hmm. our National Endowment for the Arts, our Georgia Council for the Arts, our Fulton County Arts Council under the board of the Fulton County Board of Commissioners. I so said that a little wrong. It's such a long um, time. Georgia Council for the Arts and the City of Atlanta, and all of our very, very dear educational supporters, including you all, who showed up to support our young voices moving forward. It is their leadership that will take us into imagining what our future is. And so, y'all showing up and supporting parents and guardians and those that are just part of our alumni showing up and our patrons, we thank you. So much for that support. It is advocacy that will take us forward. So be loud and proud and give it up. I said it's an hour. It's an hour? Yep. Okay. All right. Away. What have we done for the last five weeks? So I'm going to try to read this. What a magical show we prepared for you all over the last five weeks. Heidi and myself, along with many other professional teaching artists, some of which are in the building. Bye. We have been guiding these lovely young humans throughout the creative process to devise this new original work. This is never before seen since yesterday. All of this was created over the last five weeks. They did workshops, they created the themes, they did the costumes, they did the designs. We've got rain over here on the light board. <laughs> so hard. I'm talking blood, sweat, and tears, and many of the people that have brought him, them here every day, you know. You know some of the meltdowns. You know some of the challenges. You know how hard we've been pushing them, but it's because they're so special and they're so magical, and you're about to see that in full effect. Um, so now I'd like to invite some of the creatures in this galaxy that we've created Everybody on stage. Everybody sparkle fingers as we invite them. Yeah. Magical I, fingers. So I'd like to invite them to places, the creatures of planet Melpamine. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh, the creatures of planet Sirius. <laughs> yeah. Far 
his sight can reach, or to know, suddenly, that there are other stars who, for some reason you can't fully explain, shine where you don't see. Are we ever truly alone? And is it better to be alone or unknown? Doctor, what a beautiful day it is in the fabulous floating city of Mathopolis, where math and science be the very foundations of our society. Yes, I suppose so. <gasps> but how wonderful it is to see you, my beloved creator, Dr. Thaddeus III, founder of Mathopolis and esteemed chairman of Universe University. Why are you talking like that? Like what, Doctor? Like you're talking to an audience or something. Whatever do you mean, Doctor? Oh, never mind. I'm this close to solving my formula. I can feel it. Err, uh, Doctor, what formula would that be again? What formula? What formula? My formula for synthetic magic! Oh, never mind. It's always in one ear and out the other with you. All I need to solve is just this last equation. No, I have it. <laughs> That's it! I've done it! That's wonderful news, Doctor. I can't believe you did it. Well, of course I did it. I am the great Dr. Thaddeus III. Anytime I put my mind to something, I know I will always solve it. <laughs> I'm not like those muscle heads at P.E. land. But, Doctor, I I'm not so sure about that, because what about that time you were working on that super important equation, and then you leveled the entire science uh, lab? That doesn't count. Besides, I was merely uh, constructing a construction error. Now, all that's left is to harvest the materials, and I know just the place. Watson, ready the ship!
here on Planet 5-5, uh, five five, also known as Nelphorine. No! I seem to have contacted native life. I shall now try to communicate. Hello there! I am not the heaviest the third. Do you understand me? I do, they. And I do. But that's beside the point. I speak English. Oh, excellent. I came here to harvest some organic materials, and I chose your planet. What an honor for you. Yeah! Sure. Honor. So what does this formula do? Well, my formula will be used to save the lives of millions of people. All I need is just uh, one of these and, oh, one of these. Hands off! These are our resources. You don't get to just take them.
the citizens of Sirius. And now they kick me out because I don't have powers. These are meant to be a symbol of strength. So tell me, Jackson, why do people keep asking me who am I cosplaying as? <laughs>
You must be the renowned galactic criminal, Mr. And you must be that is their <coughs> Sorry, allergies. <laughs> I have a proposition for you. How would you like to control synthetic magic? What is it exactly? Imagine man made magic with limitless power and can give extraordinary abilities to all, even those born without natural magic. What? Give it to me! Uh, uh, uh. Uh, fine. What's the cost? I just want you to put to a uh, good use and keep uh, my name out of it. Boss! Boss! Hold boss! On. What? I don't think we should be doing this. This whole operation seems a bit sketchy to me. Nonsense! Did you hear him? Limitless powers, extraordinary abilities. With this nerd potion, it can fix my image. <laughs> they do know we can hear them, right? <laughs>
will regret exiling me. Now, I can finally be stronger. I can finally have monsters. <laughs> Get some rest. 
let us hear so that we can help each other. What do you say? I'm only doing this for myself. Sally, <laughs> I don't get paid for this. But if I do, that would be good attention. <laughs> but let me call on the ancient spirit of the forest. Student, how did you create this 
Miracle! Well, there are these mushrooms in my village, Mario's cute faces, that me and my sister like to bake in the cookies from time to time. And, well, my mother was under the effects of glitter for a time, but we found out that whenever she ate the cookies, she started to feel a bit better. And so I ran a few tests, and, well, I think I have it here. Mm, well, thank you for bringing this to me. Uh, what is your name, student? It's Dope, sir. Yes. Thank you for your great contribution to Mathopolis, Todd. Good it's day. Actually, I said, good day, Todd. <laughs> Botson, dispose of this ugh, garbage. Boss, no, boss, no! Mr. Cooper, no! I have forsaken that name. It is now the Glitter. King! <laughs> what do you want, Goop? I, with your glitter, I've accomplished more than I ever thought possible. But I can still accomplish more. I need to get, I need to be stronger. Glitter needs to get, be stronger. True strength is that of the mind, Goop. Intelligence something you appear to be lacking in. I'm not going to alter my formula for your little power frenzy. Are you sure about that, Doctor? You cannot harm me in my own city. <laughs> harm you? No, oh no, Doctor. I would never harm you. You're far too important. But that bot of yours, though, I wonder. Does a thing like that feel pain? What do you think, Jackspin? Should we find out? You'll have your formula by the end of the week. Boss, boss, we shouldn't be doing this. Shut up! You're fired! You can't fire Michael Jackson. I quit! science, Goop, but I'll see what can be done. Now leave. Remember, Doctor, if I'm going down, you're going down with me. Doctor? Oh, Watson, I didn't see you there. Don't, what is it? Don't you think you should stop? <laughs> what are you talking about? Doctor, the planet we've been harvesting from can no longer sustain itself, and every planet introduced to synthetic magic are turning more and more into magical monsters, and isn't that bad? Shouldn't we stop it instead of making it stronger? You heard that now, did you? Well, it's not our concern, Boxen. Not our concern, Doctor? There have been so many deaths. Well, of course. What you don't understand, child, is that there are necessary sacrifices for the sake of progress and for the good of the future. I don't understand. What is good about this? I thought we were supposed to help people. Well, of course, but Mathopolis takes priority. Doctor, isn't that selfish? Selfish? <laughs> they were the ones who've been selfish. The rest of the world lays about throwing magic around to solve all their problems. But they come running back to us when it inevitably backfires. <laughs> they don't see this as help. They want to take our resources. Look at me, Botson. They would see us corrupted by their magic and be destroyed alongside with the principles of math and science with us. I mean, look at Goop. Look at what he's done with my invention. Don't you see, Botson? Magic is a disease upon the universe and anyone who covets it. We are the cure. Don't you understand that? Yes, Doctor. Don't worry, Boxen. We're safe here. Now, run along. I have a problem to deal with. Attention, citizens of Mathopolis. I, 
Dr. Thaddeus III had found the culprit of all this mayhem. The man behind this glitter epidemic is the Glitter King, also known as the galactic criminal Mr. Goop. For his hunger for magic, he created this atrocity glitter. He has destructed our peaceful galaxy, and he will pay. For I know that he will be put to righteous justice. You have nothing to fear, just citizens of Mathopolis. Be safe. Oh, and also, remember, P.E. Lynn still sucks. <laughs> like so much! God! <laughs> Planet denied us 
Each one had a cure of its own, and they denied us because we can't come from there, because we were different. Okay. Methopolis has helped so many and has gotten nothing in return. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about, but why would you continue this senseless cycle of violence? I thought you were supposed to be some big science hero. Yeah, man. Science? A hero? I don't have time for you to go. I don't it. care. You threaten the only person I've ever cared about. Boxen, that stupid bot of yours? That is just a toy. Ah! Boxen, give us the cure. Please. Goop, don't. Don't what? This? We need to go. Doctor, what do you want me to do? Child, my only child, I will always love you. Besides, I need to stay here. A captain who always goes down with his ship. Take the cure and go, son! Yes. Ik ben Isis en geloof in ons. Yes. Woo! Woo!